you know, it's like, could we do an action film and make it look like something? Because that's what this movie is. It's a lot of action. I mean, we're shooting at folks, busting through walls, jumping off buildings, like whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, can we do this and pull it off? That's what I wanted to see. You know what I'm saying? I mean, can we actually have female action heroes? Okay, everybody, start flying down rehearsal. Step out. Can you just give me a rundown about the movie? What is it about? The movie is, is basically about four girls who wind up robbing banks and um, their relationship, their relationship, the relationship that they share among one another. That's pretty much uh, the way I see it. Well, basically, the storyline is that we're robbing banks because we're desperate, for, for desperate women. I know for Cleo and I know for um, myself, Stoney, and Frankie, it's almost like a suicide. It's like, if this doesn't work, I'm out of here. And you know what? I don't care. Because if I can't get what I want, I don't want to be here. These women are just desperate. It's just like, forget it. We doing it. If it doesn't work, we out of here. The movie is special uh, for a number of different reasons, but because it's about four women, I don't think that people, just the audience, the American audience, period, are used to seeing um, most movies from a female perspective. And I think it, the movie's special, particularly because of that reason. I don't think you get to see often what happens to girls, what we go through, what women think. But I think we had enough input in this film that we were able to keep it real, so to speak, in terms of the way each one of our characters would feel about any given situation that happened to us. My character um, is, I don't know, she's always depending her happiness on everybody else's happiness, and that's why she gets caught up in all the messed up situations that she gets caught up in, trying to keep everybody else happy but herself. Um, but she's a good girl. She's a really great girl. I, I really like Stoney. I play Cleo, and she's but that's wild, as Jada Pickett was saying. <laughs> She's just, she, she don't care. She has like, you know, the only people that matter in her life are her girlfriend and her four homegirls. You know, her homies, her dogs, or whatever. She'll go all out for them at any given moment. She's buck wild, though. She's wild. She's cool, though. She's a good person, but she's crazy. Mm -hmm. We would actually cut out before you know what I mean? Right as he looks at you, we cut back into the bank robbery. Crisscross, which is just dope. Action! Does this fall into any one category neatly, or is it kind of...? I think so. I think this movie falls into the dramatic action category. I mean, I know it's a combination of two genres, but I think that uh, smart dramatic action is how I would put it, that's just my vision of the film. And action! The MTV audience is very familiar with, with F. Gary Gray, with his work and Waterfalls and with TLC and some of the music videos he's directed. What's it like working with him? He's, he's cool, Gary is cool. You know, it's cool because we, we're all young. Um, we're all like in our 20s and we're all like doing our thing. And I think he's, it's a relatable thing. Queen Latifah, both of you are businesswomen. Both of you are both in the music and acting. Is it easy to work with somebody, especially when you have so much in common? Heck yeah, that's my girl. Queen is strong. You know what I'm saying? She's confident and she's intelligent. Working with Jada Pinkett, it must be, is it easier for you to work with somebody that you have so much in common with? Yeah, yeah, Jada, we, Jada and I, we knew each other before the movie, so it was kind of cool and I've, I've always, that's, you know, a plateau for me. I want to do a movie with Jada Pinkett. You know, because this is so, somebody that, for me as a young black woman from around the way, when I go to the movies, that's who I see half the time. So if I reach that, that plateau, then I, it's almost like I've achieved the goal, so to speak. That was dope. That was nice. Okay, that was good. That was good. <laughs>
And it seemed like you guys have a, got a real camaraderie, but everybody, the people behind the scenes, on the camera, you guys are all boxing and playing yeah. around. What does that mean? Is that the way it is? You guys are kind of a family? Kind yeah, of? it has to be that way. That's how it works. This is your family for a month or so. You know what I mean? And that's how you make a whole a project work as a whole because it's not just about the director it's not just about the actors that are starring in the movie it's about props it's about makeup it's about the camera guys about the grip guys because it takes all of these people to make a movie yeah i mean this is a pressure situation when you're shooting a movie there's no time you know you, you it's a lot of you on the clock and a lot has to be done in a very small amount of time by a lot of people yeah we all get along i mean it has to be the case because it's such a hard film to put in a can that if it was a tense set, I don't think we could do it. I don't think we could do it. So um, what I wanted to do in the beginning, what I plan to do is to create a relaxed atmosphere so that everyone could perform and not feel the, the tension that you would normally feel at, um, for a movie of this size. You find it hard to keep challenging yourself? You seem like you've done so much in such a short period of time. In such a short period of time. I think my challenge now is allowing myself to go to that next level. And that is um, starting to reach out more for the mainstream, bigger films. I think that's my challenge now. I just want to do things that are not me. That's what challenges me. That's what I feel good doing, things that are not Queen Latifah-ish or Dana Owens-ish but just different. What should they expect when they come to this movie? The audience can expect everything from this movie. <laughs> just simply put, that's it. I mean, there's a lot of things in the movie that um, will appeal to a lot of different audiences, not just the, you know, core audience that would expect, you know, to come and see this movie. I think that uh, everyone can get a lot out of it.